hi welcome to Bonita's kitchen and thank you for joining us what I'm going to be making for you today is old-fashioned trifle this old-fashioned trifle I'm sure was made by most of our parents years ago and it brings back such fond memories to me and I thought it'd be great to share it with you and show you how simple it is to make it let's get started when I say it's a few simple steps, it could be less work if you purchase all of the things made. But right now I have already purchased uh, one of those sponge cakes and I got, got it for a real good price. And I got a can of fruit cocktail and you can get that in any grocery store. Instant vanilla pudding. I got some cream cheese. Um, whipped cream that I'm going to whip up here, but I also got some Cool Whip. If you didn't want to whip it yourself, you could just use Cool Whip. And a nice fancy glass bowl because you're going to layer this in the bowl and it's going to look just absolutely delicious. So let's get started cutting up our sponge cake. Okay, so I have purchased in advance a sponge cake. I could have made it, but you know what? It's just as cheap to just buy it at your grocery store and just cut it off like this because we're going to have it in little pieces but if you want to make it just pick it up make it in advance let it cool because you just need to cut it into chunks okay so you pretty much just cut it like this into cubes until it's well I'm not going to say all done I'm only going to use F of this sponge cake but if you want to make a couple of them I'm sure you could use the full amount and just take a bowl and just pop it all into the bowl put it to the side and I'm going to show you the next step okay so what we're going to do next we're going to cream up our um, as a play on words cream up our cream cheese um, our powdered icing sugar and we're going to be using the juice from our fruit cocktail. So pretty much what you're going to do is just cut your cream cheese into chunks and put into a bowl and have it at room temperature probably for about half an hour before you start to make it just to soften it up a little bit. So just put it into chunks and lodge it in, put it into your bowl like this. Okay, so what I'm going to be using is a strainer and I'm just going to strain all of the juice into this bowl with the cream cheese and inside of the strainer would be our um, cocktail fruit and we're going to put this to the side until we're ready to use it. So we got our cream cheese in there, we got the the juice from the fruit cocktail. I've already touched the blender on it once because I didn't want for it to go up over my camera. So now I'll turn it on and we're going to blend it just until it starts to cream. Okay, so that's nice and that was about a half a cup of uh, powdered icing sugar and you could use more if you would like it. And the cream cheese. So now I'm going to show you what the next step is. Okay, so I got my cream cheese and uh, that mixture there. And like you said, it's creamy, um, it's not thick. I don't need it to be thick because we're gonna have to mix in our, uh, our cake quarters to it. But right now what we're going to do is mix our whipping cream. I put it on some ice so as I can get my, my bowl cold as well. Again, this is optional. You could use Cool Whip that's already made, but I like a little bit of whipped cream to add into this. So you just pour it all out and I'm gonna start blending that to get that done. Okay, so this is coming along nice. I'm gonna continue whipping this until it's nice and fluffy and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what the whipped cream looks like. So what I'm going to do now, before we start putting it all into our bowl and assembling it, and I also got my vanilla made in advance, and of course, follow what the box tells you, it's probably a couple of uh, cups of milk, and then blend it up and let it sit 
um, in your fridge until it's all set. Um, now I'm going to take about a half of my whipped cream, put it in with my cream cheese and the icing sugar, and I'll show you what that looks like. So, okay, we're going to put just about a half of our whipped cream, leaving the other half to put at the top of our trifle. So you're just going to fold this in to that mixture with the cream cheese and the powdered icing sugar. And that's all you got to do. It looks something like that. So I hope this recipe is making you want to go out now and get a sponge cake and start making this because it's going to be delicious. Take the cubes of sponge cake and gradually fold them in to the mixture that we just put together with the cream cheese and the whipping cream. We don't want to mush it, we just want to light, lightly coat each one with it. So continue, and this was only a half of the sponge cake, and you mightn't even need all of that. But for now, this is what we're going to work with, and we're going to blend all of that mixture into each cube. This is what it's going to look like. So now comes the fun job of making this old-fashioned trifle. We're going to start layering the ingredients into our bowl. And the reason why I'm saying to get a glass bowl, because if you've got family over for dinner and you want a nice dessert, they can see through the bowl what it looks like. So what we're going to do now is start layering it by taking a nice helping. You could probably use half of it but it all depends what size of a bowl you got and put into the bottom of this uh, bowl and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so we got a, about half of our mixture in there and what you're going to do, you're going to pat it down because you want to make it a little bit smooth so that we can put the other layer on top. And what we're going to do next, we're going to be putting our vanilla pudding on the next layer. So remember after you made your vanilla pudding let it sit in your fridge and then stir it a little bit so that you can spread it over the top of the next layer and just put all of it. We're going to be putting the whole amount into this bowl. Okay so you're going to spread all of your vanilla pudding over the top of your sponge cake that got all of that delicious mixture with the whipped cream and the cheese, cream cheese, and it's going to look something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to add in another layer of our sponge cake with the cre cream cheese and whipped cream on top of our pudding. And this is what that's going to look like. Okay, so now you're going to have another layer of your sponge cake. So you're just going to equally put the remainder of your cake on top, like that. Okay, so this is going to be the fun part of our trifle. We're going to be putting our mixed fruit cocktail over the top. I don't know about you guys, but I always find you might get one cherry in that fruit cocktail. And I think that's all I got. No, I think I got two. So you're going to spread that out so it's evenly put into your trifle. Like that. Okay, it comes to the final stage of our old-fashioned trifle. So what we're going to do now is put some whipped cream over the top. And I'm going to end off with a little spray of the cool, the cool Whip, and you can also get it in little, in little bowls. But I'm going to spread this over the top first. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so then you're going to top with the whipped cream. So you just spread it evenly over the top like this. This is a humongous trifle, so I know that if you're making this one at home, hopefully you'll get to have some for yourself because your family's probably going to eat it all.
And we're going to top it then with a nice fancy spray of the Cool Whip. And we'll just go around the sides like this. Just to jazz it up. So to finish off this delicious dessert, um, you could top it with your favorite sprinkles. You could put chocolate over the top, whatever, coconut, whatever you like, you could put over. Depending on the season, you could use um, Chris for Christmas. I'm gonna put a few Christmas trees over the top. Even though we're Christmas just passed us, we're going into the New Year's, I just thought that these trees would look perfect and a couple of little sprinkles. I think what I'm going to do now is take up a nice alping so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let me just take a nice alping of this trifle and show you what it looks like. It's nice if you leave it and let it sit for a little bit and that way it'll all blend together, but I don't want to do that. I want to take it out now and show you what it looks like. So this is what our delicious old-fashioned trifle looks like. And mixed in there with all of this beautiful whipped cream is our fruit cocktail, our pudding, vanilla pudding, our cream cheese. It's absolutely delicious. I think I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. Perfect. Absolutely delicious. So this is how quick and easy it is to make this old-fashioned trifle. I hope you get a chance to make this for your family over this season. So thank you for joining me once again for Bonita's Kitchen today. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and you will get this video and many more. Just hit the link, subscribe, and it will prompt you to what you need to do. You can also visit me on www.bonnydiskitchen.com and on my Facebook page and as well on Twitter. So thank you for joining me for Bonnydis Kitchen today. From my kitchen to yours, have a wonderful day.